Uh, today we're going to be talking with IO6 and today we have uh, the Director of Operations at IO6, uh, Summer Burkholder, and also we have Anna Milan who internshiped with IO6 with the Digital Summer Clinic this summer. So I'm really excited to get to talk with them and talk to them about their experience. Well, uh, generally, I would be your Q&A host. However, with Facebook down, we are cutting that section short, but we're, we're looking forward to hearing everything everyone has to say. All right, thank you. And thank you, Olivia, for the moral support. <laughs> um, so let's get started. So uh, Summer, I guess we'll start off with you. Can you give us a little background of who you are, where you went to school, what did you study, and what is IO6 and what do you do there? Sure. So um, my name is Summer Burkholder. I um, have been working for IO6 for the last two years and I went to college. I'm originally from Texas, so I went to college at the University of North Texas in the DFW area and I majored in hospitality management because at one time I thought I wanted to run a restaurant um and my plans changed because i am married to um a lifetime student i'll call it so we moved from universities to universities for various degrees and ended up in ann arbor for the university of michigan law school so that's how i ended up in the michigan area and uh just put my restaurant hotel management background into operations part of the automotive side so IO6 is a telematics company, which means we work with primarily the automotive industry. Um, what we do is we engineer hardware and we build things so that you can log various things in a vehicle. So one of the things that is really big in the trucking market is that at one time truckers had paper logs that they would fill out, you know, and things like that. Well, now you need to have it digital. So you, we engineered the device that plugs into the vehicle that tells you where the truck is, how long it's been running, you know, any diagnostics or anything like that. So we primarily work with that sector and we engineer all types of devices. So, um, that's kind of us in a nutshell, it can get really complicated and, you know, in detail, but that's, it's a really big industry because not only do we want our truck drivers to be safe, but we want everyone else on the road with them to be safe. And this is one way that that helps keep them slept and fed and, you know, following all the regulations. So that's good. Yeah, that's great. Especially moving toward more towards digital in the future. That's really great. Exactly. Uh, Anna, what about you? What is your background and uh, what did you study? And also, can you explain a little bit what is the Digital Summer Clinic for those who don't know? Yep, to say hi. Hi, I'm Anna Milan and I'm a junior at Eastern Michigan University. My major is marketing with a minor in graphic communications. And I work for the Digital Summer Clinic over the summer with IO6. And to me, the Digital Summer Clinic is an opportunity for students to gain professional experience and add it to their resume and then to expand on the experience part it's just being given the chance to explore your interest in different roles and just seeing what you like and what you really don't like and then you also just help a company by making a big impact with your skills and then the new skills you're developing during the internship and there's also mentors there that are wonderful and they're there to help you yeah it really was a such a great experience um about your experience, can you go more into what, what was your main projects or what did you do with IO6 this summer? Uh, the main projects consisted of making a mock-up website, starting social media and developing a content calendar. I also created some graphics. We, I also made a, we also made a customer survey to figure out what the customer personas are, uh, developing ideas for a trade booth, the layout for it, and a employee culture survey. That's great. So this is a question for for both of you guys, but we can start off with Summer. Uh, what did you in, what do you enjoy most about working for IO6 and what is your favorite thing about the company? So um, for IO6 specifically, um, 
I love my staff. I mean, our staff is just, we're a small company. We're under 10 people, 10 to 15, it fluctuates. Um, and we all just get along really well. And we all love working towards one goal and we just genuinely enjoy each other's company. So I think that's really something wonderful about a workplace is that even though I don't really have an automotive background, I can still really enjoy working in the automotive industry for that. And then like, as far as outside of just the employee culture, uh, the coolest thing I think that we do is we make an impact um, on a lot of different things. Like you can see the growth from where we started to where, you know, people didn't even know that you could plug something into your vehicle to get all this information to now we're trying to get them in, you know, every vehicle in the market, you know, so that it's just really cool to see the, the possibilities that we have. And it is really exciting. So Anna, what about you? What was your favorite part about working for IO6 this summer? Uh, one of my favorite things was just being able to like take initiative and getting support for my ideas and just getting being able to work on them. I also like being able to be part of meetings um, that consisted of meeting with a marketing consultative group or website designers. It was just really interesting seeing like the process of how to create a website in regard to its layout and like what content is important. And these meetings were all very insightful and Again, I really love the supportive atmosphere and all the employees want to make sure that I understood because I did not know anything about this industry. <laughs> uh, that kind of leads into my next question. Um, you said that you worked like with the website and the survey. What were what were some of the struggles that you faced during the clinic and how did you work through them? I think one of the biggest struggles was that there wasn't uh, much of a brand personality and it was just very, I was just very afraid because I'm starting the foundations, you know, starting from scratch and just generating ideas and how iOS 6 can, can present itself. And so we did that by, you know, really researching the industry and its competitors and how they present themselves. That's really cool. It sounds like you got to to learn new skills and kind of develop it, which is really cool. So, uh, Summer, on the company side, what was it like working with, with the Digital Summer Clinic? And what did you hope uh, were some of the lessons that your the interns that worked with you take, took away? Well, I mean, we don't have enough time for me to gush about how much I'm impressed by Anna and Travis. Um, to, I have a heart for just working with students because I believe they're our future, you know, like because they can learn so much and just be amazing. And if, if I speak specifically about each one of them, because they're Anna and Travis are unique in their own ways. And Travis isn't here, but he was one of our interns in this program. And um, Anna specifically has so much potential, but it was just like wrapped in this little package that she didn't know was there almost. And so I was like, Anna, to open the box, like go in, go do more things. And so she would come back like all hesitant, you know, like, I, I don't know if this is good enough. And then she would just present this amazing piece of artwork and graphics. And I'm like, how did you do that in the time allotted? You know, it would have taken me twice the time and it wouldn't have looked near as good. So I loved working with the interns from that perspective of just seeing the potential and then like getting different perspectives because we're a startup and we're a lot of us are engineers or a lot of the staff is engineers. So that's a one type of mindset, right? Like you, you don't always um, think outside the box in various ways. And so to have someone like Anna who just is taking this fresh look on it, she really introduced a lot of... Um, really awesome concepts that we're that we're running with you know she came up with different color schemes and different ways we can present ourselves to be more professional so that's really helped us a lot and then like Travis did a lot of background stuff like he worked on the website more primarily and he really taught us what we're looking for and so it really helped us put us on the right trajectory so i i loved working with them because they're extremely talented and young and full of energy and, you know, I just love it. Um, but it was really valuable to work for the clinic um, or to work with the clinic in this because we, um, one of our staff members was actually a previous intern and she has since gone on to 
to her thing. But so that's the whole reason we got into this. And I think it was awesome. That's really great. And like getting to see it come full circle and working like with new people and seeing where they go. And I, it's been a really great experience. And also working with Anna has also been a good experience with the summer clinic. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Anna, back to you. Uh, talking about all this experience you had, uh, what were some of the valuable lessons that you learned during the clinic? And was it what you were expecting when you first uh, heard about the digital summer clinic? Uh, I think, you know, one of the most valuable lessons I learned is just don't be afraid and just go for it and you know, try something new and take risks. You know, I was very nervous to start because I just didn't have many, much familiarity with the industry. And then, for example, like Travis and I knew nothing about the back end of a WordPress website and we experimented and built a website and we learned a lot from it. And then just to add on, I wasn't really expecting it because it just let us know like what our strengths and weaknesses are, which, you know, helped me prepare better for the future. That's great. Uh, and kind of to, you know, we're getting close to the end here. Uh, what advice do you have for interns that are looking to start in the digital summer clinic? What advice do you have for them? And this can be a question for both of you. Uh, Summer, if you want to start. Um, advice that I have is um, do it, first of all. Like, just go for it and see what happens because you never know what can come of something. Um, but also ask a lot of questions. Like, there's never a bad time to say, why are we doing this? What are we doing it for? Because sometimes we're just set in our ways and we don't have a reason why. And so we need someone who has fresh eyes to say, excuse me, hi, I think there's a better way to do this. And there absolutely is. So uh, I think that's valuable to me and to those interns who would like to do this in the future. That's great. What about for you, Anna, as someone who experienced the digital summer clinic, what advice do you have for the interns that are coming in? apply please apply it does not matter what your major is or whether you don't have an experience before the digital summer claim i had no experience i just had you know food industry on there and you know the digital summer clinic was there to help me prepare for my future marketing career and i just met some amazing mentors who were there to help you and you also get the opportunity to network and meet with a lot of professionals and just not only it will help you professionally but it will help you grow as a person that's great and definitely I agree with that too it's been such a great opportunity and it's also been a great opportunity to talk to both of you guys today uh, thank you guys so much for coming on I know we're running out of time I wish I could talk more but thank you for everyone who's watching this uh, recorded uh, sorry that we couldn't do it live uh, but very happy that we got to at least record it and post it later um, so again, thank you guys for joining us today for the second part of the uh, A2 Tech 360 session. Uh, don't forget, we have another big event coming up called the Digital Marketing Workshop. That will take place November 8th through the 12th. Uh, we have an exciting lineup of speakers from Google, uh, Sam Bernstein Law Firm, Pinterest, Skidmore Studios, and many more. Uh, if you're looking for more details, go to our website at the digitalmarketingworkshop.com. It is definitely worth it and hope to see you guys all there. Thank you guys all again. Thank you.